Hello everybody, this is Elizabeth at Valley Poultry, still recovering from pneumonia, so I sound a little scratchy and hoarse, and that would be why. Here we go with a greenhouse update. So we ended up buying a cement mixer, five stars, highly recommend, because we sporadically are mixing concrete for this job, and I can see where we will use it in future, maybe to create some concrete pads to put the duck food on and etc. So we just bought one. So that's the new concrete mixer. Really nice to just be able to decide to, to pour some cement and just go and not have to run back and forth and rent one. So as you can see, we've still got work to do on the main pool. We were going to put in two pools here. And then we decided that one would be sufficient and would give us a lot more floor space for the birds to mill about. Um, so this one is still a work in process. It's still just roughed in and we haven't gotten that completely ready for, for cement yet. Uh, Lyle has put up the net and the greenhouse plastic and installed the hip boards and the baseboards, which we will bury hardware cloth all along the whole outside edge and then put tin on there for a sight line blocker. There's also plans to run electric out here plus a cable for uh, ethernet so we can run a couple of uh, power over ethernet cameras. So this is the main part of the aviary and then this door frame will mark the beginning of the two grow out areas. We're also going to put in a little side door here, uh, which we have in another pen, which is just really handy. So that in case you just need to go do something in this half, you don't have to go all the way through. But there will be a net barrier here in between the main pen and the grow out pen. And as you can see, he's installed a little bit of netting up here already. Uh, this door will just be a frame door uh, with probably netting or hardware cloth on it. And then this is the first of the grow out pools. And we were having an issue with leaking. <laughs> and so <clears throat> we got a bunch of advice and redid it. And this one is still was leaking a little bit. So I decided to buy some dry lock paint, which is a waterproofing paint suitable for use in pools. And it turns out dry lock doesn't come in very many colors. And this was a mixture of four colors that they had on sale at Lowe's for half price because they were mist tints. And if you've ever been to Miami, you'll know what Miami green is because that's the color that it ended up and I don't like it. So I'm probably just gonna buy some regular blue latex paint and paint over it. And that's been advised that I can do that so that may be coming down the pike, because I'm not too excited about this color. So this is the second part of the grow out area. And the net barrier that's going to be installed to separate these will roll up so that we can then secure to the top of the aviary. Uh, so we can make this all one big pen if we want later in the summer when the, uh, all the ducklings get to be about the right age and the same size. and um, they'll have a little bit more room this way. We're planning on running a sprinkler line from our well out to this pool and this pool and so they will have constantly fed well water and they're not very big so we're hoping that this will keep them clean and uh, nice and clear for the ducklings without any further maintenance. Uh, the big pool we're going to run the same filtration system that we use in our other pools and we're going to have a waterfall it's going to sit here mostly because i'm just completely addicted to waterfalls <laughs> anyway so it's coming along <coughs> excuse me still work to be done but i'm hoping that we can get at least that section <coughs> buttoned up in the next couple of weeks uh before all of these birds that are sitting on eggs, babies hatch. 
Uh, we're planning on putting landscape cloth down and packing sand on top of all of that. So we're talking about renting a little uh, miniature skid steer at the rental place to move all that sand in there, which will make it a whole lot faster and a lot more fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for updates.